testing, testing. One, two, one, two. Pull the image down. Then go to two views. And find the doohickey where I would be located. Which would be right about her. Turn the volume down so I don't actually murder my own ears. I wish. Oh, I wish you would just stay. Stay there. Don't move. The Rimworld, is you loaded yet? Mr. Rimworld? Are you loaded? No, you are not loaded yet. You are loaded. Look at all these dang cats. Don't you slaughter them. What are you sleeping in? Oh, this is the blighted crops. What is my animal situation? Oh my lord. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cats. Okay, they got names as well. Okay, that's good. Randy, David, and Hare are left for me and a doctor who has uh, not been named, so we don't really care about him. They died. Oh, that's weird. Part of my hat's transparent. There we go. That's better. And now there's not a massive shadow on my face. Good. Okie dokie. Well, I guess that that goes for the bit of an intro. Hey everybody, and welcome back to Squish Fly Plays Rimworld. This is, um, this is Rimworld. Currently, it's very slow because lots of people just recovered from, you know, pretty much being, pretty much, from pretty much being dead. I know that they're not dead. It's probably greatly helping them. So, what do we have on the to-do list for today? Need to finish this area. Wire the entirety of this. They're already cutting down the plants, so I don't need to worry about that. Probably get a shelter for the animals of some sort. Some semblance of a sleeping home. <laughs> Harvest failed. Well, you're not trying to harvest them. You're just trying to get rid of the blight. Are these things down here blighted too? They are not. They have survived the blight. That's going to be very good for our food situation later. Research. Are we done with drug production? We are not dug done with drug production. Local turkey has gone mad and will attack everyone it sees. Well, that is not good, is it? Not particularly one for a maddened turkey. Uh, it's gonna eat us. It... Can you post up? Yeah. Hair, I know you're probably... Can you... Oh, thank you. That was a lovely shot, Randy. You instantly killed the man. Very good. What? Okay, knife. Get that put up. Why is there a little... Oh, I guess because... Oh, prisoner as well. We need to... Zone this into a stockpile. Add it to that. Hello, explosive brooms. Hello. I got a new little webcam. It actually registers my green screen and it moves to 60 frames, which means it's not total trash. Which currently is more than I can say for my computer. How did you spell hollow wrong? What is this? Marble limestone. Who is at base currently? 
No. Randy, no. Randy's actually hauling. No, but go up here. Okay, the blighted stuff is cleared. Probably gonna want to invest in a jail cell or a cell house. We'll just make it out of wood for right now. There's the base of it. And have it here. And then we'll have uh, one, two, three, one, two, three by three cell blocks. Two, three by three cell blocks. That'll work. Thank you! My sister got it for me for Christmas. The camera, that is. And once that's been built, we're gonna wire it up and hopefully... Oh, wait, will you just move everything out of the way? Oh, that's just genius, isn't it? Huh? Face reveal? Yeah, have never had a face reveal before, Wolf. Never before. Not in my life. Definitely never done Twitch... YouTube regular videos and streams and stuff with my face cam. It's just kind of off and on because because it's, a because it's a face cam and my computer does not particularly take kindly to face cam. Major break risk. Major break risk on Randy. What is wrong with you? That's not what I need. Needs. Awful barrack. Feeling terrible. Awful meal. Ate a meal that tasted disgusting. Hello, typical top hat. Yes, I have a face. I know you thought I was just a robotic voice and all, but I'm not. Believe it or not, I actually am a real human being. Has needs. Needs in a life. Saw his face a long time ago. You made a picture. You made a picture, you deleted the other one. Guess what, typical top hat? You're gonna have to deal with my face. Face review, saw his face a long time ago, made a picture, deleted the other one. Made a picture of what? That tells me nothing. Need to make a chop wood ordar over here and down here. And actually, you're not. I'm not, I'm a wolf. I said you're a wolf. I said wolf. I didn't say anything like Billy Goat or something that would be offensive to a wolf. I don't know, would calling a wolf Billy Goat be offensive? The voice of God hath doth join us yet. I assume, I assume not. For he hasn't answered. Wooden floor... I could it. Hmm... This is going to be our jail cell. Jail cells. And so we're going to need to pipe power down to it. So they can have, like, a light. Lights are always nice. Once we get the base perimeter, though, done. Once we get the base perimeter area done, we will be very keen. Oh, wait, no. We should move the lights over one. Uh, nightstand, 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 end table. End table there, end table there, and then we'll have the lights at the very end. Because if you have an end table, let's go. A little strawberry. It's really weird having the face cam back. We were actually just discussing. The wolf, remember when you were like, this one good wolf. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Got it. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, what is the wolf? Is like, are you are you are you entering into like a drawing competition or something? I saw your title, but it was really confusing. Like a tomato, no sense. Also, let's go. Let's go. It's the best go. Cargo pods. You detected a cluster of cargo pods crash nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. The fudge is that? What is wart? Beer before fermentation. The substance needs to ferment in a fermenting barrel before it becomes drinkable beer. Well, I'm not going to say no to some beer. I can't possibly say no to, to no beer. So it is a drawing competition. Oh, 
got it. Okay, that makes sense. Mm. Did you hand draw it like on a, like on a, like on a tablet, or was it drawn with like a mouse and keyboard in like Photoshop, or was it like a picture that you drew by hand on paper that you then like took a picture of? Speed three through the night, please. Even though everyone died, we're pretty well set. We've got at least we, each person has at least a ranged weapon, or can have a ranged weapon. Randy's currently the only person. Let's do a compilation. Compilation of what? Of people dying? And no, I refuse. Steel food, power, barracks, workshop, armory, social gathering, farms, happiness, and this area. We also, okay, so we need to work on a hospital. Oh, on iPod, got it, okay. I was just curious on how you drew it. I drew, I drew I do most thumbnails and stuff in Photoshop, just because I have Photoshop at, at my disposal. Oh yes, I have Photoshop at my disposal. That's a metric butt ton of wood. So I think the inner area is going to be wood for the time being, and as we expand out, we're actually going to start using stone. So we're going to set a mining order over her, like a dis. And then we'll just have everything else in front of that in mind as well. So we can clear out a good good chunk of it. Compilation of you saying let's go. I do not have the time. Legitimately it would it would be about a an hour long video. Ah, is it raining? It is raining. Oh no. Oh no, Mario. Everyone's also cutting wood. Hair's cutting wood. David's cutting wood. Randy's cutting wood. Everyone's cutting wood. How strange. Oh no, the bear. Oh, Mr. Bear, please don't hurt me. Will you be my friend? The question you ask about calling Spirit Wolf a billy goat is not offensive, it's just retarded. But no, you just gotta, you gotta clear up these things. You gotta clear up the dingle hoppers. In hindsight, we probably should not have made our prison area out of wood, just because You'll be keeping prisoners in there. Are y'all gonna do the entirety of y'all gonna do the entire cut word order? Do you record Hulu Night? I do. I have an episode of, of Hollow Knight recorded right now that is waiting to be edited. So, yes, I have one video that has not been edited yet. Uh, I was planning on doing a video before I actually recorded, like rec rec recording another video, just so I had like a bit of a backlog, so I could work on two things at once. But I did not get to it because we had company come over, and also everyone was in the bedroom that I was using, so I couldn't really have the most quiet of environments. What is Hollow Knight or what is Rimworld? Oh, Rimworld is what we're playing right now. Hollow Knight is apparently a very good game, according to everyone. How much wood do we have? Two thousand four hundred and thirty-six. Holy crap! If y'all don't get this built within the next like two days, I will be incredibly furious. Hey, are you still cutting wood? Oh, crap, there's a corpse down here, isn't there? What is that? That is a boom rat. We don't need to worry about that. One of the best games ever. Apparently, it's really good. I have not played it through yet. I also have not finished it. I've also not seen anyone play it through. So, you know, it's going to be a right experience on my part. Sorry, right. get all that trash out of here. That should not be part of the stockpile zone anymore. Uh, zone. Uh, how do I clear, delete this zone? Okay, that's, it's not part of the zone anyway. Okie dokie. Yeah, can you haul these things out the way? Move things, get out the way, haul things. That's connected to electric. Our electric is probably not 
gonna work too well in the rain because it's in the rain. Okay, speed three through the night. Hmm. So barracks hospital. I'm contemplating whether we should have a prisoner's hospital for us to, you know, harvest the organs of the dead. But I'm also contemplating whether that's a kind of good move or a bad move. These things need to be... Wait, no. I just deassigned everyone from growing. Who's good at growing? Two, eight, three. Cargo pods. Detected cluster cargo pods nearby. Perhaps you'll find something useful in the wreckage. Well, thank you. What is this? That's a lot of silver. 200 silver. Yes, please. Continue through the night. We're going to make one of these, actually probably two of these areas, for heal roots. Because... Heal roots. We also could start producing beer up here. I'm not going to sacrifice our rice for the time being. We're going to set... Who's it? Was you. We're going to set you as, like, number one. Romeo's died because of malnutrition. No, Romeo, oh, Romeo, there's poison on your face. Well, you shouldn't have been about a million miles away. I should make animal sleeping spots. That's a horrible way to live your life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten animals. So I need to put up an according amount of furniture, animal sleeping spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll leave a space in the middle because of YOLOs. Plop. I guess it would technically be poop, but I'm going to say it plop because I'm a absolutely crazy man. So this is going to be our prisoner bed. Dude, you're building that area like nobody's business, David. Well done. I applaud you. Congratulations. You've done your job. Too bad you're not earning any awards for it. Ah, uh, probably gonna need to work on a... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. This is also prisoner bed? Pr prisoner bed? Okay. This is also prisoner bed. Now if we could haul these tings out of here, that'd be great. We're going to put two vents in the walls. How many people can you have in your village? I think an unlimited amount. I'm gonna have vents there and there for the one AC that we put in here to, you know, keep these rooms habitable. We are kind of upping our... My news itches. We are kind of upping our use of the tings, the tingo scrots. But at the same time, we don't... Or we kind of do need... Wait, no, did I not set that to be hauled? No, get that out of here. We are upping our, our use of... Um, of electricity, but then again, we also have a bit of a surplus in here. Eight batteries and f six solar panels. It's producing quite a bit of power. Hair is over here doing exactly what she needs to do. Which is just what she's doing. Which is harvesting that. Do we have someone assigned as a cook? Work. Work, 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 work. Cook. None. None. One. Wow, y'all are really bad at cooking. Okay, Randy, you're going to be cooking on number one priority, and we should probably actually lower the bill of food currently, because... Do until you have X. We'll put it up to 30 for the time being. Because we are running dangerously low. And we do need someone to be an assigned cook. What's the most amount of people you've ever had? I think it was seven on the mole people colony, to be completely honest. How long will you be streaming? About two hours or so. Ah, oh, good, we're planting the heal root. That is exactly what we need. That is not a bed that we need. Oh, we should probably take out this wall. Okay, let's see. Orders. Deconstruct this wall, this wall, and the door. Oh, they brought the, the beer stuff. Ward, frozen, and will not spoil. That is good. Woo! Okay, let's see. What if we made zone area? Growing zone. What if we made a little zone over here? Like a little 4x9. 
We made this for growing hops. Or we could also, hold up, we could also use it for making smoke leaf. Just saying. Psychoid plant? A leaf plant can be refined into a psychoid drug. Yeah, let's just go with hops instead. I'm not too interested in having people die from OD. If you know what I mean. Not too interested in that. Could I have a light in this area? Where is it? Uh, Let's get a chair in here as well. Like one there and one there. Just so we can like, you know, talk to the prisoners. Standing lamp. Put that right there. Put that right there. And that. That's everything. Done, gone, and being done. Okay. People are still not in bed. It's rainy. It's pouring rain outside. Everyone's just like, I don't even care. That is lovely. These things, rice and rice. We should actually probably put these things as a joy. Things like daylilies and roses. So we'll have a patch of roses here and a patch of daylilies here. Just to, you know, boost the mood of people. And then we'll have the little bit of heel root in here as well. Because that, that's in the center of our base. Because we do not vent... The do here is today, because if the day isn't, they're going to have issues. Also need to patch up the, fl the floor in the hole. The floor in the hole. This should not be a stockpile zone anymore. Delete the stockpile zone. Can this area in here also store? Um, raw resources. Stone, plant matter... Textiles? Uh, yes, it can take textiles as well. Textiles, and then all the natural stuff. Not gonna set it down. Ah, then again, the wood's gonna deteriorate. What if we have a shed for wood? Because it just needs to be under a roofed environment. So what if we just have a little shed area over here? By the hoops. Specifically for the wood. Let's see. floor off this area and then we will have a small little bit of a put this here there one two three one two three right one two three one two three and then put it here and here and if I thought this correctly which means is I just misplaced a block that should never be... Does that look lopsided to you? Looks lopsided. If we build those, and then put a floor down, like these, we can make a 7x7, seven by seven, seven by seven, minus 1, a zone... stockpile zone here, and make this for only wood. Can I click on the stockpile zone, please? Thank you, good sir. Make this for only no food. Uh, boop, doop, 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 doop. And no, and no. For raw resources, make this for wood. Because we don't need that wood going and done spoiling on us. Because that'd be bad. And this is going to be like a little shed of an area. Also, we're producing meals again. Unfortunately, the meals are going to be absolute crap for the time being. Are we holding steady on the power supply. We are holding steady. I don't know how long the solar panels are actually going to be able to sustain us, though. What are we building? Okay. We're getting the floor done. Which is good. But, if we could haul this heel root, that'd be great. Are you grazing? Emu1, can I give you a name? I cannot. Crap. Hold up, did that just say meals cooked? Meals cooked. I don't know how I spotted that. For some reason, meals cooked jumped out at me. I don't know why. It just did. What are we doing building wise? None of this stuff's really gotten moved at all. We need to pipe more power as well. Okay, power. Let's get to pip in the power through all these buildings. 
gonna have an exterior power grid. This is what they would call it in the biz. Oh, uh, furniture, standing lamp, a standing lamp there, a standing lamp there, one there, and one there, and it should be beautiful. What was that? Hello? Is it me you're looking for? Hello, Mr. Big Pack of Boom Lopes. Could you get off my land by chance? Oh, there's some gold. Some gold. Yeah, gold indeed. Wow, that was the quickest power line construction I have ever seen. And now for the horseshoes. Goodness gracious, y'all guys are so efficient. It's amazing. It's the best. Well, there's the power grid. And now we have light in here as well, which means it should be not as awful as it was. Which is always a plus when you're talking about people. What are you building? Oh, you're building the wooden floor. Okay, dank. We also have 67 meals ready to be cooked. Which is good, which is good. These daylilies should be making this area. So much more fabulous. It is, it is making the area more fabulous. This area is really dirty, this area is really dirty, this area is... These areas actually, like, aren't that bad. The cleanest place is probably out here. Because of the beautiful daylilies. Can I disable the happiness chart? Thank you. Why are y'all doing this instead of the thing I need you to do? Are you not on Halloween as number one priority? You are not on Halloween as number one priority. There's your issue, Justin. You gotta have them peoples on the number one priority. Gotta get that stuff hauled, and we're gonna set a roof area like this, and a boom, and now we have the roof. Goodness gracious! There is so much rain. Did lightning just strike a cat? An Octav, or Octav, has gotten sick, has gotten food poisoning from simple meal. Well, maybe if our cook was an actual trash at doing their job, we wouldn't have this issue. I mean, I'm sure even Gordon Ramsay's food poisoned someone sometime. Speed 3. Through the night zones, falling to the day. Oh no! We need another animal sleeping spot for our doggo. Dog, or maybe that's our no. Our dog, our dog died. I'm sorry, Mr. Doggo. I forget you died. <laughs> oh, they did haul the wood. Good. Yes. That's good. Hello. Can you go out, Mr. Fire. Thanks. Thanks. You got me covered. Don't even worry about Mr. Fire over there. Where is Lorandi? Monsieur Randy? Mr. Randy? Where could you be? Start a call and see if he answers me. Hello? Monsieur Randy? If you could answer, that'd be great. No? Okay, that's fine. I, d I didn't want you to answer anyway. Continue to speed three through the net until the thing works. I hate YouTube on the phone. It's actually one of my pet peeves. And everything else. DeVito. Come in and get in a little bit of a simple meal. I don't really need that though right now. I need... Oh, good. David, are you happy? Look at everyone. Everyone's so happy. When it's just three people, I can manage them like a champ. Once you get past three people, though, it starts getting real hectic real quick. Okay. When you're not exactly to the point of flourishing. Flourishing? That's that's a word. Um, Research. You have a bit of a burning passion for research? Let's put you on a two. Not necessarily the most high priority that we have right now. Being as meals would be greatly appreciated. Oh, they're hauling the tings. The tingo scruts. That's great, 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 great. 
How much wood do we have here? 795, 800, 900 wood. 900 wood flat. Let's go. And now we have a thousand. This oh my lord, hello, Mr. Voice of God. <laughs> oh, you're so loud now. Uh, here's the loudness button that I can just turn down. Hello. We all this. Hello. Hey. Yeah. I just found a pun in the website I was using that was a spinner. It's called Wheel the Side. Ouch. <laughs> that one might have hurt me a little bit. Just a little bit. Just dying on the inside. Just dying on the inside. What happens if I harvest a rose? A beautiful cultivated flower, symbolic of love and romance since ancient, ancient times. Since ancient times, this rose has been about rose mats. Aha, uh -huh, I made a pun. Hmm. Oh, hey, you have your face on the stream for once. I do have my face on the stream for once. Hello, Randy, I'm looking right at you through the face cam through the internet in a 12 second delay. Yeah. So in 12 seconds, you're going to see me maniacally look into your eyes if you're looking. Actually, I have it stopped right now. Well, um. Watch this on a YouTube made for gamers. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> what have you done, Randy? What have you done? Oh my word, I love this. What have you done, Randy? Hey! What have you done? Okay, so when you're watching the YouTube video, it's the. Go watch this on a thing made for gamers. Yes. That is what you said. Yeah. That's. Oh my word. I'm in love. What have you done? It's just the setup is so much nicer. It's it's more uh con it's condensed down. Condensation. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, it it just. Uh, let's see here. How do I switch back? Cause I actually wanna. Uh, that's really bad. What? Uh, someone just got struck by lightning. Shocking. Yeah, I bet you they're a bit twitchy now. I think they might burn to death. Who who de who got shocked? Uh, hair. Wow. Probably, his hair is probably singed. Mm, along with every other part of his body. What are the odds of being struck by lightning? It's happened to me like three times. I mean, hair was in an open field, so. I bet it was. I bet it was quite enlightening, though. Randy. Yes. You need. You need to just lay off. Just take take a chill pill. And chill. This person has burns on their head, torso, right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg, and left hand. Their right hand is perfectly fine, though. I think I've successfully found a way to subscribe twice. Why? Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> I think I subscribed to your channel twice. Thank you, but how? I'm not sure. It doesn't say I went up a sub, so I guess not, maybe? I don't know. No, it used to say 90, now it says 91. Oh, no, that was a person who subbed during another stream I was watching. Please. Oh, well. You tried. But in I the guess end, it registered you did that I already subscribed, so it's like, oh, never it mind. It was like, yeah, that's not how this works. Thanks for being supportive and all, but no. I just tried. Yeah, like, needs tending now. Well, fine, so, I guess I'm gonna awake Randy from the dead to tend to hair, because, you know, the idiot was standing out and got struck by literal lightning. Oh, on the subject of... Power. Yes. Oh, no. What have you done? Randy, but why? Why should we that go through this? What about it? 
What about the magnetic generator? Um, it would have to be constant. You, the way you made it sound was, it has to be the constant repelling of a magnet in order for it to eventually demagnetize. Uh, it loses an, a magnet loses its electromagnetic field after being exposed to constantly or on a regular basis another magnetic field of opposing force. Right. So I'm willing to bet if it was on a regular basis, you would at least have a decent amount of time, however decent this amount of time is, before you'd have to do, do some work on the generator. Mm -hmm. Precisely. Yeah. The unless you could find, unless you could find a way to like cycle some kind of dust through, like have a stronger, like a permanent magnet for the tur the actual blades or whatever it is that's doing the spinning. This emu is eating my roses. And then have a weaker. Uh... What the fudge? Why would you do that? What? The emu ate my roses. <laughs> it just went over, and this this ro these roses were like, yeah. it's eating the. Ro okay, we're banning this emu from this area. How do I ban the emu? You kill it. Emu. Emu one. Animal area one. Zone. Uh, 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 clear allowed area. Animal area one. No animals are allowed in the garden. Yeah. The garden. And oh, demagnetization only occurs whenever a stronger magnetic field is in effect on a weaker magnetic field. Are you saying this is fact or is a question? Fact. Okay. Or it has to, it has to do with co coercivity. I looked this up while I was in the car. Corrosivity? Coercivity. Oh, co coercivity. I've I, yeah. I've never heard this word before. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I figured out neodymium. Neodymium, a ne rare yeah. earth metal that is extremely magnetic. Yeah. Yeah. I figured that out that that's a permamagnet. So if you can get like the top grade of that for the spinning the turbine. Mhm. Mm and then you have a slightly weaker magnet that can still do the repelling. Mm -hmm. The turbine will still spin. And what hey. you do is that weaker magnet, like you'd have two ends to it, or the way I'm visualizing it is, you'd have a way to swap it out without having to interrupt anything. You would have to and stop it. Like, you could not, you would not be, with, with something that's generating enough magnetic field or enough magnetic force to propel itself in a direction to generate electricity, the amount of electromagnetic energy that would be coming off of that would not allow you to use anything metal within a very large radius without it actually doing the same thing as you throwing, like, a wrench into a CAT scan. So, if uh -huh. you ever wanted to do any maintenance on said machine, you would have to completely turn it off and stop it from moving. No, what I'm saying is, like, a built-in like, like, you, like, literally, like, you've, like, uh, I'm trying to think how, it, I'm thinking, like, you have, like, a little, okay, imagine, like, a stick, oh, like, a thumb drive, a thumb drive, yeah. imagine a pivot point in the middle, so, on one side, you have a magnet that's been magnetized, and the other side, you have a magnet that's being remagnetized. so, all you do is, for a brief second, you flip, you flip the switch because the uh, one's magnetized and one isn't. Mm -hmm. You flip the switch to get them into the more appropriate position. Everything slows down for a second and speeds back up. Okay. Would you like to know the problem with that? That I personally see in my limited study of magnetism. Yeah. Is that what? magnets in that particular situation that you're describing would uh -huh. find a a a perfect equilibrium where one does not affect the other even when it's turned on. One does not what? So, like, so, number one, you're talking about electromagnets. 
I'm Be talking about magnets, not electromagnets. Well, you said flip one on. You can't just turn on and off a rare earth magnet. Wait, flip one on is like swap metal? What are you... Where oh, did you hear me say flip one oh, on? You said, imagine a thumb drive. With a pivot, yeah, like a, with a pivot like, in the middle. Like a, yeah, like, so you can trade out... Oh. Well, like, if you're using... Say you're just using a magnetic or a robotic arm to move a one rare earth magnet towards another, causing the one that's on the pivot to move. Yep. Okay. The one that's on the pivot would find a perfect equilibrium where whenever the magnets that's being thrusted towards it to generate the power would not affect it. the other. Yeah, would not affect the other. It would find an equilibrium yeah. where the two magnetic fields balanced out and weren't in effect of each other. Because if you study, if you look at magnetic fields and patterns, they'll always find a, a, a place where if they don't stick together and they're repelling each other, they'll find a perfect way to cohabitate or they'll stick together. Right, okay. So they'll, so either, they'll, so they'll either cohabitate as far away from each other as they can get or they'll mm -hmm. suck themselves together, which is why I was saying electromagnetism, because you can keep a constant flow of electricity and swap the polarities, making it to where, no matter where it was, it would not be able to fall into perfect equilibrium with the other. Hmm. Oh, I was, I was trying to say that... I should have uh, put some definitions there that said the turbine that has the majority of the magnets that, that are being... The, the magnets on the tur or on the generator, like the uh, part that's actually doing the spinning to generate electricity. Yes, the, the turbine. Are, the, that that's that's your mass of magnets. They're repelled by a smaller series of magnets in select locations, or so on. Anyway, I was saying these. So I'm gonna say that the turbine magnets. I'm gonna say the repulsor magnets. The magnets I were talking about that you could swap out. If they were just a slightly lower force, lower force of magnet, were the repulsor ones. That way the turbine ones wouldn't wear out. And you would set it up in a way that you could at least trade one out while the others ke could uh, keep keep up while the other one was being changed. Just, just on the exterior. So... <clears throat> Uh, okay, so would you have... So you would have three magnets in total. Well, like, like say, say, put this in the most simple, like, fidget spinner-sized uh, scale. You would have three magnets. Okay. So, so you have a... Yeah, pretty much. Okay. So you have a fidget... I'm going to explain it to you. you We're going to put this in fidget and, spinner terms. And it's, and, and it's kind of shaped like a fan blade, so it does... So the, it's at an angle... All right, mm -hmm. and um, I got a text. One second. Got to answer dim texts. As... No, I just, I, I just felt my phone bright. bright. So anyway, you got vibrated. this uh, fidget spinner that's at it. The the blades are at an angle, mm -hmm. and you have one magnet that's on the fidget spinner. Okay. Mhm. Mm this is the strongest magnet out of all of them. On the fidget spinner, connected yeah, to the, the axle. Mag... Yes. Okay. I'm following so far. And then you have one that is at a certain a distance that is close enough to repel. You have the second magnet is placed at a distance to repel the stronger magnet, so it'll spin. I highly and advise. Uh, I don't necessarily highly advise, but I would advise getting like a circular disc or something. Mm -hmm. Like just wood the circular disc and like getting a pack of rare earth magnets, like pack of neodymium magnets, like the little bitty like uh like craft yeah, ones. Getting a pack of those and then testing it out yourself. I think that you'll find no matter how much you rotate a magnet manually, if it's not if it doesn't have an electrical current going through it, it won't be random enough to keep the object spinning. Well, I looked up a YouTube video of a guy who literally like he put his magnets on a PC fan, and then he hit he gra he grabbed the rest of them to repel. Like, remember, you're having you're not having magnets magnets being pulled pulled to attract to each other. You're having them pushed away from each other. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So he, 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 all he did was he just glued some on this mini, mini, uh, laptop fan or cool, uh, PC fan, not laptop. And he just put them on each little, each little blade, a couple per blade. And he get he gets the, uh, rest of his, he gets the rest of his, uh, magnets, points the repelling end at part of the fan blade and it starts spinning. And it lights up a light bulb, an LED one, but it lights it up. Yeah, an LED. No, no <laughs> offense, no offense to the LED community, but they're the most efficient bulbs. So, yeah. well, well, I mean, I say that like they also, wouldn't... Requi they, requ they also require the least amount of power. Yeah, I think the most efficient are actually plasma bulbs, but those take like a jolt of electricity to get started. Yeah. Which is like I don't really know if you can consider it like part of it, but like totally, yeah. dude. I mean, you have magnets and you have electromagnets, and both w types of uh, generators <laughs> could be self self sustained. It's just what is required to get them started is different. Okay, firstly, I'm gonna throw the law of conservation of energy at you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you understand that. How do I basically? Okay, then you understand that this will be limited unless you have something giving an equal or greater amount of power to it. I mean, unless your brain has somehow elevated to the level of Sherlock and you have discovered the next step in human evolution and limited power, which I gotta admit would be pretty dank. Unfortunately, the law you would. Of conserva conserva conservation, conservation of energy. Hello! Black cat, red eye man, whose name is in a language I do not read nor speak. Katniss has gotten food poisoning from Simple Meal. Well, crap. Sucks to be you right now, doesn't it? But, you, uh, like, uh, pretty much, here's the breakdown of the law of conservation of energy for those oh, yeah. in audience who don't know. You will never be able to sustain more or to output more energy than what is put into an object without it will you won't be able to get more energy out of an object out of a system than what you put into it with a few exceptions like coal you put like an ounce of coal and you can get like x amount of power but then again the coal is also well, used it's, up it's energy stored yeah in coal, one form coal has another. yeah but like I mean, in order to get a greater than what you put in system out of like electricity, mm -hmm. like say with an electromagnetic generator, you would have to have a, a machine with an efficiency of 101. And like even the most sophisticated things that we have currently can only achieve an efficiency of like 50%. Yeah. So, I mean, you'd be making a pretty big leap there. It is a very interesting idea to toy with, though. Magnetic generation is very is a very interesting idea. Yeah, because I keep thinking, so it, it, if you could get it, if you could successfully do it, it's self-sustaining. It's like, hey, you got this. Well, I mean, you would have to take a certain amount of energy out of it to, out of the system's output to, you know, keep it going. But past that, right. theoretically, it would be self-sustaining. But, also, would you really want to take that public with the power companies being in positions that they are? I mean, hey. You would, with an idea like that, you would bankrupt the entirety of all petroleum and coal and gas. And odds are you would have more than a few bounties on your head. Well, considering the technology is supposedly already invented... Did you know that there was a, uh, can there be, be, can there be a true petroleum device? True what a device? A true, p uh, perpetual, perpet Petroleum. No, per perpet perpetual. Perpet perpetual. We'll just leave it at perpetual. I don't know how to say the actual word. Perpetual, perpet, perpet, Randy, I'm struggling. Perpetual motion. Perpetual motion machine. Uh, there's actually been quite a few studies on the perpetual motion machine. Um, and most of them observed on their own for long periods of time have been proven false. They will eventually break down. So, like, 
if you were to do an electromagnetic generator, so imagine, imagine a cylinder, okay? In the center of the cylinder, you have a copper tube right. being charged with a certain polarity of electricity, generating, mm -hmm. we're just going to say, uh, Polaris North. And then you have electromagnets powered by, uh, uh, what is it called? Non, non-linear, uh, the non-liter, uh, mag, uh, electricity traveling through air. Right. So those are being powered by the copper tube in the center. Yep. On, uh, mercury bearings, so, mm. to achieve, like, mercury. maximum efficiency because mercury is motionless and also can't be compressed so no matter how much weight you put on it and put on it it'll still remain uh slick it's also non-corrosive really? in its pure form yeah oh by the way do not mix mercury with aluminum you'll destroy the aluminum that does not surprise me does it or do you just not really I don't no know. that doesn't surprise me mercury is a very scary substance yeah it literally okay. The oxide that aluminum forms, it, it it just dissolves it. It's like oh, oh, there's aluminum oxide gone. Mm, goodbye. Oh, you do not exist gone. anymore. Yeah, you think so it's impossible you, due to gravity and friction. That is true. A perpetual motion machine is impossible without a perfect vacuum. Lack of gra it would it would, it's, it would only be possible with zero friction, lack of gravity, and atmosphere. Now, what if you use gravity to make it move? It would eventually fall to its lowest point. Everything has its lowest point, and I mean, if, unless you were to literally 3D print the entirety of the machine from a molecular level mm -hmm. to be exactly perfect and it perfectly balanced on all sides, and also have like the 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 what is it called the well, ionic let's, bonding let's of like a, graphene without without that you would not be able to make something that would never deteriorate and not even never deteriorate just deteriorate enough i mean i was kind of thinking like you have it i was thinking you kind of like let's say you have it halfway in gravity and halfway not so it goes so it at that point you've got a freaking black hole that you're dealing with <laughs> like legitimately halfway in gravity and halfway not is the definition of a black hole where oh. is this other man because you can't have gravity and no gravity acting where, there was the third man yeah that is, that is oh, true he's Never really mind. slow I mean like if you can make a black hole and not actually encompass the entirety of the universe like man show that show that everywhere man but yeah. until you figure out a way to make a black hole without encompassing the Earth and the entirety of the galaxy. Uh, come back to me when you have quantum physics solved. Oh boy. No, I did toy with the idea for quite a yeah. while, like I, probably I, I, I a few think... months of research. And then I, I was like, magnet... "This is actually not possible." I think the magnet generator is the closest to perpetual motion you could get. It's the it's the closest to self-sustaining motion you could get without, say, making, uh, you know, a, a doohickey majiggy. Right, yeah. You know what I mean, I'm saying? The thing. Because yeah. I mean, you think it for a period of time, it is possible for the magnet to the sustain itself. To, yes, to sustain itself for, for a very short period of time. Yes. Well, we don't know how... No! Don't know they're the, stealing hair! You will never know steal my hair. We don't know what the period of time is, but... It, yeah, it, it would be on a limited time frame. Yes. So, you, you have this wonderful magnet generator that generates... That the... It doesn't need electricity to... Suppo it supposedly doesn't need, except for maybe a quick jump start to get it spinning. It doesn't need electricity. Once you got that, it just it, it it's self it's self sustaining for a certain period of time. Yes. And it's generating surpluses of ener like it's generating energy that it cannot use. Yes. Like it, so you use it elsewhere. Theoretically, it would be 
perpetual, or it would be, it would be, be the cre it would be creating more energy than it used for a short period of time. Whether that period of time would be enough to justify its existence, I don't know. I, I mean, you, uh, I'm sure crap, what was I going to say? It is, yeah, I mean, yes, you have friction, so you can't, it won't ever be true per, per, uh, perpetual motion. Yes. But it can... Unless, unless you remember, use the, energy the most kind of, perfect... The energy uh, is just kind of being converted. Yeah, it's just it's it. just going from magnet magnetic form to it electric just has form. A lot of, it has a lot of energy in there. That's a lot of energy. I I mean, mag you can get magnets spinning pretty fast if you have them set up right. Yeah, but the problem with like just regular magnets and not controlled electrical current is that you would have the issue of the machine literally just tearing it apart if you were to. Yeah, which oh you, yeah, no. this is all true, but I mean, yeah, you'd be fun. fine. Mental break, sad wander, urgently okay. hungry. You were so hungry, you left the man that you were uh, doing doohickey to do ba do ba do boo. I actually do want to do an experiment to see how long neodymium. Neodymium. Yeah, like get a neodymium. Neodymium. That's what I said. Oh, dimion. Dimion. Neodymium. Ah, sumaluminium. I would like to. I would like to get a few of those magnets in a fa small fan, and just see if I can get it to spin for a long period. Of like, if you could, like, say, let's say the limited time is six months, and that six months you can power an entire house. Mm, <laughs> not with something on the scale you're talking about. You could power oh, like no, 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 a not, fan not, constantly. Not, not on like. You could like you created a generator on a. I don't think it would need to be really massive to make energy uh, electricity. To make a substantial amount of electricity that would qualify its existence, yes, you would need it on a pretty large scale. Maybe, maybe about the size of an oven. Of an oven. Oh, is this turtle actually insane? It's Which is not that big. It's coming to kill you. There's a turtle coming for you. Oh no. You cannot escape. Kill the turtle. Kill the turtle. <laughs> oh, nope. Oh, Hare saw the turtle and was like, nope, fudge that. Yeah. Oh, you're, you have not... shot Hare in the back. Yeah. Just, they're not as massive. As... Like, the a generator is powerful enough to power the house, would of course have more magnets and a. The turtle's gonna kill us all. A better turbine for generating electricity. And from what, I, from what I looked up at it, it it wouldn't have to be bigger than an oven. Like it would be the size of an oven, just about. Mm, I debate on that. It, 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 it it's it's open. It is the, it, the nothing is set in stone, but from there is I cannibalism it, in this game. Sorry, go ahead. Answer new question. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing set in stone on that, but it is open for a little bit of interpretation and speculation <sighs> onto how large something of that scale would need to be. But I'm um, thinking if you had a small turbine and you got it spinning really, really, really like near light speed fast. Number one, you would risk like time there would become blurred near the machine. Also, it would Which probably. Would be awesome. It would be freaking awesome. We would probably be able to see into the future. But it would also rip itself apart, and if it was going at light speed, would literally become an atom bomb. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is true. Because if it was spinning at light speed, whenever it finally did rip apart, the materials that, the particles that would scatter, colliding with the still particles of the area around it, would be enough to cause, like, nuclear fission. On an atomic level, and which, in which case, you all just found an ingenious way to make <laughs> just this electromagnetic generator will spin for six months, and then after exploding, it will be kept in a chamber where the atomic energy will be harnessed. It's like we're starting to reach, we're starting to reach the uh, the all-time low of uh, of how far we can stretch this theory. Yeah.
So first you're going to use it for six months at light speed until it rips itself apart, and then the atomic explosion that's probably going to be never, like several Hiroshima's is going to, like, you're just going to harness that in like an atom chamber. Well, I was, the light speed was like on a separate turbine altogether. This bear like, does uh, not motor like generator me. Generator altogether. Oof, get off me. Ooh, rest until you're freaking healed. Wait, are you about to die of food? We're not. You have plenty of food. So. so yeah. Good, um, good mind experiment. In all yes. honesty and practicality, though, it would never work. Unless for... you literally atomically built the material. Like, if you built it up from an atomic level, it's possible that it might work. I think it's possible. Now, this is just my point of view on it. I think for a limited amount of time like it can it is it is uh it can keep itself self-sustained for a set of time before things have to be done in order to keep it going or restart the process david what are you doing just to, just Steve. to provide power like to maybe part of a house or a whole house depending on the size and each a whole house. It's a house there are a lot I mean, there are a lot of uh, de very varying factors in it to consider. There are a lot of variables, and to be completely honest, you would... Neither, neither one of us know enough. Neither <laughs> one of us are rocket scientists. Pfft, what you think you're watching here? Rocket Science 101? Pfft, man, rocket we ain't Rocket Science Speculation. Rockets... <laughs> particle Physics Speculation. Breaking the space-time continuum now and forever. Okay, so what were some of these topics you had in mind? Uh, I was gonna say, what is your worst experience with a shower curtain? Um, how so? What do you mean? Like, like have uh, you ever elaborate. had any painful experiences with shower curtains? Nope, not really. Oh well, dang. Well, I'm out of ideas. I mean, I've, I've, uh, I think. The shower curtain has actually been quite helpful at times. You ever gotten soap in your eye? You wipe your soap out. You wipe the soap out of your eyes with a shower curtain. What? Okay. Then please elaborate. I'm completely oblivious I'll, to I'll, everything I'll, I'll you're saying right now. I'm elaborate. I'm elaborate. Okay, you do that. So, you've got uh, there. The, there are a variety of shower curtains, but if it's a plastic one, I'm not do. I'm not doing this, but. Say you have like a shower, you have a shower curtain, but it's kind of split into two parts. One that goes in the tub, and one that's kind of dangling on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like a, like a plastic material. inside, and then like a cloth exterior. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So I got soap in my eye, and I was like, "Oh crap! Now I can't really see because this it's in pain." Gives the pain. So, yeah. So I go <laughs> over there, and I gr and I try and I try and feel for a towel, and if I can't feel a towel, I was like, "All right, just use the shower curtain." I mean, at that point, pretty much the shower curtain's your only hope at survival. Because yeah. I mean, if you if you can't the one. Yeah. if you can't see anything, you're pretty much just gonna fall and die. Yeah. There's no well, hope I do for have you. The, I do have the fear that when I open my eye, there's gonna be some freaking freaky alien in front of me. This is why I just never blink. <laughs> no, Randy, like, would you be up time. to hear an incredibly creepy story? Sure. Uh, well, an incredibly creepy theory. Sure. Has you ever heard about the Russian sleep experiment? Nope. The Russian sleep experiment was, uh, mm, there's no document, documents, there's no, what are you doing? This cat is eating the tortoise alive. It was, um, there's no doc, <laughs> this cat just nomming on this dead tortoise <laughs> in, the, in the courtyard. I don't know why, it's just chilling, nomming on it. So, nom 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 nom. So, whenever... Uh, the Nazis were very keen on, uh, like, gas and stuff to get through gas masks. Uh-huh. They took, theoretically, they took several pr POWs, prisoners of war, because that sounds freaking awesome. And they told them that they would grant them freedom if they could stay in a chamber, because they were studying, like, psychological mind brainwash and stuff. They said right. that they would grant them freedom if they could stay in a chamber for 30 days without sleep. Okay? Uh -huh. So, 
the the Nazi men or no sorry the Russian men Russian were Nazis. Um, the 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 Nazis the, we're just gonna call them Nazis. Nazis are bad guys. This was a very bad experiment. The Nazi men created an artificial gas with a stimulant to keep you awake. Like so long mm -hmm. as you're breathing this gas constantly, you will not sleep. Right. It's physically impossible for you to fall asleep. And if you do, you're Got some incredible skills. Uh, no, if you or, do, you're falling you're into a coma and dead. So they put five prisoner P POWs, because that sounds dank, as I've already said. They put five POWs into this, like, I think it was like 14 by like 9 square room. Or maybe it was bigger mm -hmm. than that. It's about those dimensions, except bigger, probably. Mm -hmm. And they had it pumped through, pumped full of gas. And maybe it wasn't a full month, maybe it was like 20 days or something. And so, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth day, not too terribly much. No, no, no real change. I mean, a little bit sleepy, a little bit grouchy, you know, moodiness and all that. And then, right. on the sixth and seventh day, the POW started um, being started to get very reclusive upon each other. Ah, oh, you're fully healed. We survived. Yay. They started to get really reclusive and started blaming each other for being in the cell. Hmm. Uh, they were given enough rations and book and read material and stuff, you know, so they wouldn't get bored. They were given, like, an entire library full of novels and stuff. You know, actual, like, American novels, not just, like, Nazi, Nazi stuff. And they were also given enough rations, food, water, you know, showering facilities, everything to, to you know, sustain them for a month. Or they had a month worth of rations. By the sixth day, they started ripping out pages from the books... Uh, crapping on them and sticking them to the microphones and windows of the cell. Well then. By the eighth day, the scientists were not able to see inside of the room. By the tenth day, the room had gone completely silent and they could not see anything inside of it. Is this person gonna die? You better not freaking die. And... So... After a little while, they heard they heard screams. There was a person who was running up and down. They could hear them pacing and running up and down, screaming at the top of their lungs, and everyone else just they weren't saying anything. He went silent. It was later figured out that he screamed so loudly, he ripped his vocal cords. He pretty much muted himself, quite literally. Hmm. Everyone else at this point was sitting on the floor in rows, just silently sitting there awake. So, by like the 15th day, the scientists came, they, they opened the door, or they, they, were, they knocked on the door, they banged on the door probably, with a bunch of armed guards, and they banged on the mm -hmm. door, and they said, we're coming in to check the microphones. Guess you can say scientists did not see, did not, did not see that coming, that hurts, that's real, that's real harsh bad joke right there. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. Uh, the, so they started banging on the door and said, "Get back from the door. We're coming to check the microphones. If you're stand or like lay down, face on the floor, hands behind your head, we're gonna come and check the microphones. If you're standing up, you will be shot." Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. So they heard nothing. They didn't hear any rustling or anything. So they figured uh, they probably laid down on the floor real quiet, like. Or they were getting ready to jump at the armed guard, which was probably a really bad idea. So whenever they opened the door, they shined the lights on the people's faces first. And they saw that, there were f that the rations had not been touched. And, oh, wow. Scout has gone berserk. Final straw. Starving. Yep, well, have fun beating that door down. Oh, he's gonna beat the door down. That's not good. Mm -hmm. uh, we mm -hmm. might have to kill this man. Uh, I'm just gonna put an arm guard by the door real fast in case this guy breaks down. Oh, he broke down the door. Hold up. Get down! Get down, Mr. President! Yeah, I'm just gonna kill you. Sorry, bro. Had to be done. Who'd you kill? Uh, I was gonna take this dude and harvest his organs. But now we're just gonna kill him. Capture this man. Anyway. Uh, can you rebuild the door as well? Uh, structure. Wood wall. Uh, da -ba -da, da -ba -da. Okay, so after they opened the door and the people's faces were covered in blood. Okay, what the mess? Uh -huh. And they looked down at their hands, which were about at chest level. 
right about here, and the tips of all of their fingers had been ripped off. Ouch! But not by each other. They had self-inflicted this. They were eating themselves. Their midsections also had been picked apart with their sharp bone fingers, and their organs were exposed. Oh my goodness. All these people were still alive. So, these people were still, they were still cooperating with what these guys said, so they walked him into the ER room, and then strapped them down, and started uh, putting the organs, the pretty much hanging out organs, back inside of them. One of, or like three of them died in surgery, mm -hmm. and then the, th the, the, like the three that were left, one was mute, the, the one was the mute guy, who mm -hmm. wasn't, they, and they also, all of them begged to be put back together with no anesthetic, or not to be put asleep, so they were awake and could feel everything. Wow. One of them died from falling asleep. He fell into a coma and died. Mm. Wonderful. The one that was mute demanded that the doctor keep cutting. And... Oh, thank you for finally building that door. This man will die, though. And the one that was... He, he wrote it on paper. Oh. He wrote it on paper and was smiling during the entire operation. Like, nice. like that diseased Joker smile. Like, I enjoy this. Okay, so three died. One, uh... There were, like, there were, like, six in total. Three died during surgery. One fell into a coma and died. The other one, uh, the doctors literally cut him so much that he died. Because he, because he was like, keep cutting, don't stop. And then the last so one... he died in surgery... Yeah, the last one demanded to be kept awake and to be put back into the chamber. And so, as they were putting him back into the chamber, or no, they put him back into the, cham into the chamber and then turned the gas off, and he went berserk. Like, we're talking Wendigo level, creepy as heck, you know, flesh-eating berserk. So, the scientists opened back up the door, and they tranquilized him with enough to put down three horses... And he was still going. And he demanded that they turn the gas back on. He killed three of the armed guards. One of which got his manhood ripped off by the man's bare hands. <laughs> through his clothing. He died from shock. Uh. Oh yeah, that just makes you cringe, doesn't it? And then the, uh, the, the, there was another guard and a scientist. The scientist grabbed the pistol of the man who, like one of the dudes who just got like like, finger bones shoved into the side of his head, grabbed the pistol of that, and demanded to know what he was. And apparently, the, the POW, who was not himself anymore, like, uh -huh. walked over to the scientist and put his head on the gun and said something along the lines of, like, we're what you fall asleep from at night. We're the darkness that hides inside you. Like, we're what you hide from. We're, we're what you check under your bed for. Like, he was pretty much saying, we're the monsters inside you. And uh, then the doctor put a bullet in his head, and apparently the entirety of the facility where this was constructed uh, spontaneously combusted. Yep. And everyone who was affiliated with it was killed in their homes by random fires. So that is the Russian sleep experiment. There's like an entire library of YouTube videos dedicated to that. It is, like, by far, like if you were to make that into a horror game... Oh my lord. That would not be a fun horror game. It'd be quite an interesting one. Oh though. my gosh, it would. Because it would be like speculation and science sciency. But like, I would not play that. F like, you, could, you would not be able to pay, pay me a large enough sum of money to play that game. Million dollars. I would not play a game that revolves around monsters of which are you coming alive when you sleep. I, I would I would literally become one of them. I would just never sleep again. <laughs> just be giving myself be. like speed, just in just injecting my arm with speed and like popping stay awakes for, for months until I like OD and die at that point. Wait, like after playing the game or Yeah, after like... playing the game I'd just be like, No, I'll never sleep again. <laughs> I'm not doing it. You can't make me freaking sleep. 
Some sort of psychic wave that's come over the landscape. Your talent is okay, but it seems that the turkeys have gone insane. Oh no. Madden turkeys. What will I do? It's crazy turkey. Crazy <laughs> duck season. <laughs> Alright. So, you know what one thing I was happy to do when I got home was? Sleep. Run. And not get winded. Oh, because of the atmosphere? Yes. Uh, there's a turkey attacking my wolf, my timber wolf. Come at me, turkey. Oh, he's being surrounded. No, Wufu. Why, why are you, why, why are you hurt? Why are you, why are you hurt? It's just game. Why you get mad? It's just game. Where are my guns? So yeah, there's my creepy story for the night. Hmm. You have anything to add on? Questions, comments, affiliations? Are you the man who started the Russian sleep experiment? Did you do this to these terrible, maybe. Ter terrible men? Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. maybe Pony Island. Maybe Pony Island has something to do with it. No. I mean, the way you just described that, I think of like a sick and twisted version of Pony Island. Pony Island's already swick and, s swick and twisted. My the swick and twisted. <laughs> swick and twisted. Swick and twisted. My favorite brand of cereal. <laughs> s just some swick and twisted in the morning. Can I remove this man's... Ah, oh, crap, we have no medicine. Oh, well, you will die then. As long as I don't have any cats killed in the, in the process of it, or in the game, I'll be fine. What? Wait, what? I, as long as there are no cats killed, I'll be fine. In what? In the game. In, in what game? The game, the game that in we were like, oh, we should make game. this game? Yes, no. Just have a cat. Now. Have a cat stay awake for 30 days, see what happens to it. Do cats ever really sleep? I don't know. Cats spend like 75% of their life asleep, so. I guess you could consider it being asleep, but like, not really, because. I mean, like, stuff. like if you go. If you've ever, like, even tried to pet a cat, they're usually. The minute you touch them, they wake, wake up. <laughs> they are awakened. I have come from the depths of hell. I am awakened. I have been summoned. I am woke. <laughs> totally woke. Actually, what is this man good at? Oh, he's so good at everything. We should recruit this man instead of executing him. Yeah, I've got my cat in here right now. Is it awake? Oh, is it is it woke? It's awake. It's pretty She's woke. She's awake. Pretty woke. Starving, in shock from exceptional pain. Cramped interior, in prison. Oh, I hate being locked up. Well, you know, if you wouldn't attack my base... So, is, isn't your Aww. character actually dead? Yep, I died. So I did our medic. Are... <laughs> so, I don't know, probably none at this point. Kinda, the, the chat's kind of died. Kind of died down a little bit. Which yeah. really is kind of what I expected from our topics. Just saying. Yeah. True, they didn't really have anything to do with that. No, it's kind of like story, sh sh store and tell. What are you in? What are you, what's so painful? I just, I thought they would make it more. Inter I thought they'd make the video more interesting. Hmm. Apparently not. Look, you're not. Wait, what? Finally, unbottled my feelings. Well, oh. hey, it probably could be because there's less interaction with the. Uh, actual crowd yeah that usually that's usually what kills stuff down yeah all right well, I, I, Seven it was worth a, chance. I just kind of wanted to get the story off kind of wanted to get the story off my pl off my platter yeah these people are eating raw rice so maybe like we should discuss random topics but let the uh like find ways to get the audience to participate. I usually do. 
Like yeah. we, we're usually pretty good about that, but you know, store yeah. store and tell kind of kind of killed the motive there. Also, yeah, we were we, talking we about an extremely <laughs> horrific thing that may or may not have happened. So yeah. I can see where that would kind of kill some people's appetite for the stream. Yeah, we we talked one. We talked about magnets, and then we talked about. <laughs> Let me talk about literal American horror story. <laughs> Russian horror story. A Russian, Russian horror story. A Russian, Russian, Russian. Oh, so I have this uh, gag gift called Fart Spray that I think I'm gonna the use. The heck at, would you at, have at, Fart Spray? It was a gag gift. A gag gift? Yes. What is a gag gift? It's it was a it's a gift that's meant to have a sense of humor rather than any serious use hmm. or meaning. It's okay. a funny gift versus a serious gift. So you know how I wrapped all my family's gifts in duct tape. Crap. Yes. Yeah. And then I stuffed um, stuffed them with a with hotel items. Yeah. Yeah. And you got that's this. a gag gift. And you just had the regular gift sitting on the side, like, oh, yeah, that was just for my own personal enjoyment. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. My dad was cracking up. <sighs> He's like, we should have saved these for last. Like, they were all legit wrapped in duct tape. I should have taken mm, a picture of them. You should have. That would have been amazing. I mean, I do have a picture. It's a poor picture of them, but it is a picture. Very poorly taken. Yeah. So currently, right now, I'm letting CSGO download, because I realized that if I can grind this game a little bit on occasion, there's a chance I could possibly get 300 bucks. And if I get 300 bucks for this, I'm not complaining a whole lot. And I mean, you and not the chance. You though. and I will both. You and I will both be getting a couple video games. <laughs> Why do you always do that weird laugh? You do like <laughs> the strangest, creepy. It's <laughs> 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 uh, it's the weirdest thing. Oh well. I don't know why you do it. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. weird I don't know. is subjective to the person who's using the word. Look, I said it was weird. So weird. Boom. That turkey haul that in there. Good lord. There's like actually about 10 turkeys in my freezer right now. Oh, did you know that when you're trying to make an argument, it's best not to quote things like the Bible or textbooks? Yes. Because then you're arguing from a, a position of authority and you're, you're, you're trying to argue from authority position that the other person might not recognize. Recognize? I can totally get down with the sickness. Yeah. Like, I mean, if you're if you're having a biblical debate between two people who believe in the Bible, then I guess that's all right. But well, yeah. Why would you quote the Why would you quote the Bible to try and argue your point to an atheist? I mean, that can be that can be that can be difficult. Now, uh, unless unless the uh, person you're arguing to acknowledges the Bible as a good, like. You agnostic. You yeah. emu, freaking ate my heel root. Like you acknowledge it for your religion's sake, but he acknowledges like it's kind of like it does have some good teachings in there. I don't believe in it, but it does have fair teachings. Which is kind of like the basis of all arguments ever. Yeah. I mean, most like like all political arguments are like. Look, I can. I'm not gonna say that you're wrong, but here's why I'm right. Uh, yeah. No. Who was that? Wait, what? No, the baby dog died. That sucks. My puppy dog died. Hey, you could say because we were uh, people are quite quite repulsed because of our magnet talk. They were. They were of polar beliefs. <laughs> I make it the funny jokes. All of the time no, no, I make it the funny jokes. <laughs> no Help joke, me. No joke that was said was meant to offend or harm anyone's... What? Anyone's. Did you know that pastafarianism is a legitimate... Is a legitimate religion oh worshipping the flying spaghetti monster. 
Randy, the... can I get a Google search? Do you... Oh, what? Can I you get a Google search? Spaghetti... You don't know what that is? What the heck is a flying spaghetti monster? It's seriously a religion that makes fun of other religions. Oh, got it. Yeah. That makes sense now. I was very confused about everything that was happening. It's questioning my people, life. I think there are some people who actually buy into it. Ooh, like, boy, do we need to have a come to Jesus meeting with those people? Cause sweet, <laughs> flying, we worship been flying spaghetti monsters. Now really went downhill. Yeah. This is what humanity's at. Oh boy. Apparently, there's someone who's getting their driver's license, and they asked if they could wear something. Can I wear? They, put, can they I... got it. They put it. They put a strainer on their head. Oh, it's due to my religion. The flying spaghetti monster religion, of course. How could you forget? I feel like they're oppressing me. Oh. Oh, lordy, 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 lordy. Wombo combo man, are you dead yet? How is this man alive? Because I'm here. Apparently, like... Freaking tentum left. Yet? You have not died yet. I'm amazed because you've survived <laughs> like twelve illnesses, got downed by a turkey. They, people have tried to literally <laughs> abduct you about four times. <laughs> like you're, if you're the first person who goes down, you're the first person to get abducted. They're just like, "Oh, hey, this guy looks good enough, but I see a freaking run up, boy." And then they dart. And it's all over with. So, like, how resilient am I to things? Extremely resilient to everything that exists on Earth. Don't give him the S... The FSM boiled our sins, ramen. I hate, I hate, I hate that this feels like it's a real prayer. Have you seen? Hey, Justin, have you seen <gasps> the new Star Wars? We recruited the man. Have you seen no. the new Star Wars? No. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay, I'll. Can I say? Can I say something? Uh, does he get down by? Yes, he did get down by a turkey. Ignore that. Um, depends on the level of spoilerism. Like, it has to do with the character. His, I'll put it this way: his role is not as important as I thought it would be. He is an antagonist in the movie. Okay, so can you define to me what a prota what a protagonist is, or someone? I don't really care who, just someone. <laughs> antagonist uh, is like your villain. Protagonist is your hero or person. That you're rooting for, kind of. It's like the protagonist, good guy, antagonist, bad guy. I never understand. Like, I, I kind of got that, but like, yeah. uh, protagonist would be someone who's for whatever oh. is going on. Antagonist is against it. So, what would the Punisher like, be? The it's pun a party. Harry's is pun throwing the a Punisher. Is the protagonist of the movie Punisher franchise it's, it's he's he's made out to be the protagonist in the movie you could if you were to but that's because you view it from his point of view if you yes. view it from the government's point of view he'd probably be the antagonist and in fact he is wanted by the government midway through the movie I will not say why or for what reasons or anything else but I do recommend going to watch Daredevil F season 2 all of it before you go watch Punisher. I ain't gonna make it. I ain't gonna make it, boss. I ain't gonna make it. What happened, Private? Got down with Thanksgiving dinner, sir. You did not receive permission to die. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's ridiculous. Randy, you were downed yeah. by a turkey, so. You were pretty much downed by Thanksgiving dinner. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> <laughs> may want to reevaluate your priorities in life at this rate. Did did, did did I get hit where it hurts? Oh no, you got bitten on the foot until you, you collapsed, I guess. <laughs> oh, Randy. Hey, what is I, your I, man? I was like... Well, 
Wait, my character isn't really in that game. Isn't really. Uh. Hello. They're just petting all the puppies right now. Yeah. They're like, look at all the kitty cats. A pet, a pet, a pet. Oh, it's a nice day. I, I, I guess it's because my character's a cannibal. I don't know. I really don't. I don't know what the heck your character's got going on in his brain right now. This is, this is a little bit, uh, a little bit out of the I ordinary. Thought, I, thought the I thought the character was female. Is it female? It is female. I don't really know what she's got going on in the face. She's crazy. Two, four, five, five. Hair is really good at being so a social animal. So, who is your, uh, worker that just works for a year and doesn't need anything? Um, that would be... Not really anyone. Pretty much everyone's an Eclipse. Well, crap. That sucks, doesn't it? Pretty much everyone kinda just works at the same pace, and they're pretty trash at everything. Let me guess, David died? David did die. Wait, no. Yes, no. He didn't. David didn't die. <laughs> David's actually psychopathic, so... Oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Pretty much doesn't give any craps about anyone ever. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, goodness. Like, friends dying, he's like, eh, that's cool. If he wears a dead man's clothes, he's like, I'm down for that. <laughs> now, what about my character? I mean... Your character's it, a cannibal. I know. <laughs> We've just got a wombo combo of so many messed up people. Like, yeah. the the people who were sane in this world died off. It's the people who are insane who survive. No joke. Like, this is like a Negan and, uh... A Negan and what's-his-bucket situation. What's Can I be a character? You wanna be Combo? Let's see. Combo's kinda good at everything. The reclusive... Tr use a re are you a reclusive child? And also a scout? You will be female, though, if you choose this man. Or woman. What? Th Jonah was like, can I be a character in Rimworld? I was like, sure, you want to be this female person who was a reclusive child and all in all had a bad childhood? Yes! Sorry, Sarge. Wasn't able to make it. We got attacked by ch Christmas dinner. <laughs> That's perfect. Wait, so if Thanksgiving dinner is a turkey, what's Christmas dinner? Uh, I think Thanksgiving and Christmas both have turkey dinners. Winner, winner, turkey dinner. We have ham. Really? I like ham. I, I, I honestly, I mean, tur I like turkey, but I like ham more for dinner. I like dinner. ham more because it's a lot more moist, and most experience that I've had with turkey has been very dry. Yeah, turkey, I, I'm, uh, I'm to, to speculate on it, I would say turkey's probably a little more tricky to cook. It is, because too long, you're kind of screwed. Not long enough, you're also screwed. It's also, it's kind of like cooking chicken, but much more difficult. Cooking chicken's easy. Like, you could, uh, we're gonna butcher the cat and eat it. That's great. Gonna have a oh, meal with cats. Mm. Delicious. Now, let's see here, a couple things I want to eat before tomorrow. Mm. Yes, this seriously just crossed my mind. The Five fudge? Where did our food go? Done. Dun 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 Is this person gonna die? Uh -uh. Mm. Uh -uh. Oh no! What is my ham? Christmas is more ham you hate. You like turkey. You hate ham. Oh, that hurts. I can see Christmas as being more of like a ham thing. Well, I mean, I associate Thanksgiving with turkey just because, you know, Thanksgiving. She sounds like a lady that would get down by pigeons. <laughs> Yep, okay, uh, that's Jonah. Character. Give a nickname. Please don't crash my computer. It computer may very well... To crash. <laughs> Just shorts out the lights in the house. Just the whole mainframe of the city goes down. It's giving me the spinny circle of death. My question is, how would one go about doing that from their own house? What, crashing a mainframe? Of an entire city. Of an entire city? Or an area of the city, how about that? Um, 
you would have to disable the transformer, which would probably kill you. And then you would have to have something or some things routing enough power to cause the system to jerk itself off. Okay, he doesn't want to be Jonah. Good for you, my game is that of a potato. RimWorld, W-I-N, has EA.exe, is not responding. Wait for program to respond. Crap. Well. You're in a crappy situation, aren't you? I am in a very crappy situation currently, because my computer is trying to die, and that is not good. Oh, wait, there we go. It's fine. Well, can I change that later? I hope I can, because if not, this man's permanently named Combo. Why, uh, why would you crawl over the stove and the sewing table? That doesn't make any sense. I'm so hmm. confused, Randy. Don't understand. You, can, you have confuzzlement? I'm very confuzzlement. Mm -hmm. Ooh, firefight needs to be number one. Patient so needs to be number one. So what if we had one. a potato? Oh, no. What if we had a potato? Did you know that if you took a bunch of rats and you made them run your gaming computer, it would cost like 12 grand a year to keep them fed and watered? <laughs> if they were all spinning like little wheels turbines and generating the power for an average gaming computer? It would cost 12 grand a it year. It cost about 12 grand a year. I don't really know how much it uses regularly, but you know, whatever floats your goat, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, then there's thermoelectrics, which pretty much are, I mean, take, uh, catching that energy that's being dissipated elsewhere and unable to be used. Crap. Otherwise. Like, uh, thermoelectrics? Be a good way to use some of that energy that you get when your laptop is... Heating up? Yeah. David, can you... No accessible spot configured to store it. How do I make it accessible for the I mean, hops? Justin, I just thought of this, uh, Oops, you know sorry. how to make so the way to make something 100% uh, really efficient, or 100% efficient? As like efficient, yeah. It's to imp implement every possible way of getting energy, or, I mean, electricity possible, or energy, whatever floats you go, like. into, into the said uh, mechanism that you're using. However, the problem with this is that you can only fit so much before you run out of room, and if you have one thing getting energy here, you cannot have another thing getting energy at that same spot. Per Yep. I mean, but it is, a possible, it is possible to achieve a higher efficiency rate. With um, more power to an extent, I guess. D d mm, I'm, maybe. I'm thinking in the, maybe, sense, I'm thinking in the sense of cars. Maybe. Like, if you had thermoelectrics, thermoelectric little panels in there, and then solar panels on top, you'd, able to get, you'd be able to get more energy for the car. Mm, maybe. I'm just going to leave it at maybe, possibly. I guess it's technically possible, but probably highly unlikely. Because of reasons. Yeah. These people are eating raw food, raw meat. I also have pretty much no veg because it's all being eaten by the dang animals. A caravan of interbreeded treaty is approaching. They're a pirate merchant. They'll hang around the colony for a few days. You can attack them, but it will anger their faction. Sweet, some merchants. Just what I need. Please take my animals. Combo, what is wrong? Sell some, sell some organs. I'm really considering it, but I have no organs to sell currently. Sell a kidney. I mean, I wonder if this game goes by human logic where you only need one kidney to survive. Or, uh, t I think it's two thirds or one, or one lung to survive. You only need one lung. Like, well, I mean, so long as these guys have rattlesnakes as companions. That is like... I don't even want to mess with these fools. I'm my scared to mess with these guys. having a hard time deciding on whether to stay in my room or go out. That your cat? Yes. I heard your carrot. My cat. I was like, why the fudge is your carrot having a hard time? Also, why did you give your carrot freaking sentience? <laughs> don't you know that's a recipe for bad? 
What makes you think the, the plants aren't already sent to you? Goodbye, kitty cats. I'm gonna have one Famale cat and one Molly cat. Hey. I don't Four. want your cobras. Get the f take my emu, please. Where do we sell organ? Is this the black markets? Where do we sell organ parts? Uh, nowhere currently. Wait, do we only have female cats left? Uh, okay. Well, take all my cats then. Wow, well, not even hold on to one just in case you find some more later. Male, 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 male. Female cobra, but I ain't buying no cobra from no one. Yayo. Flake medicine, yes, please. So if you wouldn't buy it from no one, would you buy it from somebody? Possibly if it was from somebody specifically? Maybe. Where the fudge is our medicine? Now, what about... Is? No, you said you won't buy it from no one. What about nobody? If it was anyone or no one, I might buy it. But if it's from no one and anybody, I won't. You realize I'm using these as literal names, right? Yes, I I do realize it's like the whole. And you real and you realize you use no one for twice, like I, no one. Ah, uh, dang it! From... I wanted you to not catch it. <laughs> dang it! You sneaky man! You've caught on to my devilish plots. Oh, there's like two traders in this area so, so at once. So you would buy it from anyone and nobody, but you wouldn't buy it from no one and anybody. Someone. Anybody's just untrustworthy. You can't trust anybody with nothing. With nobody. With nothing. <laughs> I don't, okay, I don't know how to. Name games. I got one question for you. Are you anybody? What's on first base? Oh man, I can't trust anybody with nothing. Nobody can trust anybody. Only nobody can trust anybody. Nobody can trust anybody, but. Anybody can't trust nothing. <laughs> you got your words twisted a little bit there? Maybe a little bit. No. I don't. Who's talking to you? If there's any you? bags, they're going to be right there on that shelf. We should get... Sucks to be you, doesn't it? If only you would have given me the backpack. Then I would have kept it up there with all my other Geraldson. backpacks. We need Mr. Geraldson and uh, Jonah in here. Oh, but alas, they're not, so that sucks. Trade with Chopper. What's in there? He did, he did Chopper. Cut to the Chopper. Deodorant, uh huh. <gasps> My melatonin supplement pills! I've been looking for those for months! I can sleep again! Thank you, Lee! Why didn't I ever look in. Oh, and my collection of bottle caps, of course. Fallout currency. That camera does not look like it's in the right place. Yeah, hey, it works. You want to hook me up with a couple of those pills? Uh, possibly. Anything else I should know about? Secret diaries stashed in there. I mean, I don't really keep secret diaries, but if I did, I put them in the secret pocket. Know that. You never even find them. I don't think it has a secret pocket, though, so. What if I made a oh, new hey, pocket? I finally, got my, I finally got my laptop bag. And if I'm correct... Think about it. I would Golly, be that's pushing it. What's well, pushing it? This. Oh my word. What are we on oh my wording? Sorry. Um. Let me check this real quick. Uh, I got this 17 inch laptop bag screen. That, that silicone. Laptop package. bag screen. Laptop bag. Sorry. Screen. I'm trying what to put my English? laptop bag over my screen. Yeah. To see if it, um fits it does i have a 17 inch uh messenger bag or whatever it is you want to call it i guess it, it's like the could be called it's it? like the i don't know it's like a duffel bag no, no not duffel what you you found this red this red this you found yeah you found this red phone that calls i mean what what is even English? Are you dying of malnutrition still? Maybe. This dude, he's like, so ready to die. <laughs> he's just like, please, let me li let me die. I'm ready to sleep. I am ready. I'm ready to play some Siege and then continue on my very merry way. It's so hard to get into a sleep schedule. The f yeah. fudge is that? I mean, I'll probably play one game with you and I'm face planting. Are you going to be like, what if we're on a win streak, though? 
If we are on a win streak, that is the only reason I would stay. Like three and zero. Oh. Yeah. It, it like now if we win and it's like a uh, close victory. Close victory. No. If we flawless, or we go like three and one. Yeah. This man has a sniper rifle and an LMG. I Mounted and loaded. Keep going if we're the top two on the leaderboard. Oh boy, it's my goal to daily become the top two in the leaderboard. Actually, it's my goal daily just to be MVP because of these mad skills. Conversation the other night we had about the red phone. Get them! Yeah, we were talking about how Donald Trump carries two uh, 500 magnums in uh, in his in his toupee that he assembles within uh, 2.5 milliseconds. He just like these massive, like bigger than a desert eagle, just fires them with one hand. Did you know he didn't actually intend on winning? Really? Yes. Well, is this supposed to be of the surprise? Because mm. I can kind of see, like, oh, uh, like from a campaigning standpoint, I can see, like, why he would want to not win. Or, like, yeah, not, not, I, like, from a business standpoint. I will, I will let you go research that yourself. I'm not going to discuss politics like that a whole lot. I think I'm, that the viewership that I have is like, eh, politics are okay, just don't enforce them upon me. Well, no, it's just I could care less about politics. Wow, these guys are really bad sense. at harvesting. I mean, I really don't care about politics either, I just like messing with people. I'm sorry, government is the uh, class that I like the least. Oh my goodness, I'm doing two classes in government. I'm doing uh, study of the constitution and uh, politics. The class is actually about uh, current po like policies, why they're in place, and about speculation of them. Seems legit. Uh, uh, too I legit, too legit to quit even, maybe. And my cat's back at the door again. Of course. See? She can't make up her mind on whether she wants to be in or she out. She doesn't know what she wants. Just like a woman, you don't know what they want until they tell you, but they don't know how to tell mm -hmm. you because they don't know what they want. That's how that works, right? Yeah, I'm, sure. just, I'm just going off random. I've never been a girlfriend, so I don't really have any room to talk. It's alright. It's a hard knock life. Sometimes. Sure. <laughs> Sometimes. But I'll be fine. Just walk it off. Dude, these two traders, one of them took all my animals, and the other one took, like, all of my clothes. Like, all the clothes from the dead enemies. The, the traders? Yeah, the traders. They came by, betrayed me. Trade. Trade. Okay. As in financial... Uh, got it, got it, got it. Like, dispatching. You actually, you, you actually got something for giving them something. Oh, yeah, actually, I got, like, a couple hundred silver. One, I got 700 silver from those two things. So I got a free bunch of cats, which was probably about 500 silver. And then I sold uh, excess, like, weapons that weren't firearms and stuff. And got a whole bunch more money. Mm -hmm. I actually got a machine pistol and, um, a bunch of, like, proper medicine. Combo's also almost fully healed, and then we'll have four colonists constantly popping off, which would be absolutely amazing. But we don't really so have how that. Many how many colonists there yet right now? Uh, we have four technically, but uh, Combo's down for the count because I'm forcing him to stay in bed until he's all better because I don't want him to, like, you know, die of infection or something. And what about my character? Your character is still tough as nails, tr trudging on. Trucking on, treading on, I don't know. Still yeah. doing the dues. And we're actually also also getting food production up. So, hey. that's also good. That's pretty good. I think next autosave, I'm gonna end the stream. Oh, yeah. Randy, we're almost at 100 subs. Yeah, you got we're at 90 Juan. 90 Juan. And then I gotta freaking do something for that. Yeah. Hit a hundred, then you hit a thousand, then a hundred, then five hundred. Next thing you know, PewDiePie. Oh, thinking... oh. Boom. 
That's how it works, right? Up, you're moving up in the world. Compared to where I was, definitely. Started from the bottom, now we are. Started from, the, at the bottom. started from the it's bottom, still high. at the bottom. No. Started I, starting from the bottom, now I'm slightly above it. Start from the bottom, now I'm above, like, probably a good 30% of most YouTubers. Who even attempt, yes. <laughs> yeah. Prioritize feeding combo. Yes, that's what I need. I was like, wait a second, what am I supposed to be doing? Mm -hmm. Or maybe just like this night. I mean, I have a, pl I have a, like an idea. Of? Uh, like if I actually want to do YouTubing, I fi I figured I might try and go like co, like just help you out and just do a few with you to start out with until I could get a decent f base. Yeah, I gotta say, it's probably the finding people who are dedicated. Like, who are actually gonna enjoy what you want, what you make. Yeah. And watch it. Yeah. Which is why I'm, like, super grateful for, like, Stein and Top Hat and, uh... And... And, 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 and... Boomstick. Mr. Boom... Mr. Boom Broomstick and the Crazy Catman as well. Yeah. Yeah. He like, comes and goes, but still. Because, see, I don't know if I'll... I mean, I'd like it. It's kind of neat just to kind of have something you're a little, like, you take pride in doing or enjoyment <clears> doing, <throat> just letting other people see it. Kind of. Yes, it is very fun. The question is, is it is it worth yes. the... The at time? This point in time? At this current point in time, it is not worth, worth it for me to try and keep it maintained. Not with how busy I am. Yeah. I have nothing I mean, else better to do so, though, so, you know. Might as well. Plus, I'm planning on going to college for film and animation, so, you know, it'd be nice to have a bit of a resume to show really? I... Yes, I am planning on this. Oh. Okay. Planning on starting to take extra credit classes for uh, 3D design and the likes by 17. Hmm. Well, like, what I've heard about this particular... Uh, about film and animation is that... A good 75% of people drop out of of it because of the sheer amount of work that you have to do. And if you don't already know it, trying to learn the ins and outs of it. If you don't already have someone under your belt, the, trying to learn all the ins and outs of it is going to have you so worn out by the first uh, set of finals that you're going to fail or drop out. Or struggle. Or literally live off of coffee. Yeah. Which is why I like enjoy doing stuff in hit film. Mm-hmm. Because it's a pretty basic, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good way to start getting the basics of film design. Yeah. We have a single meal in storage. I'm so happy. Now, what if you manage to make a decent amount of money off YouTube doing I would stream? Doing streaming and stuff? I mean, odds are, like, highly unlikely, but if it did happen... I'd probably still stream, like, for a few hours each night as I was doing college, because, you know, I kind of just want to do feminine animation anyway. But, I mean, right. if I can make a proper job off of YouTube, then, I mean, I'll still be taking classes, just at a much slower rate. Because, like, what if yeah. YouTube fails? You know, what's the backup plan? Well, the backup plan would be I'll go and get a... Career, I'll go and do a career in doing uh, film e film editing and animation. Boom. If YouTube doesn't fail, dank, I got my dream job. I mean, yeah. YouTube hasn't really failed. I mean, there was the adpocalypse, but it didn't put really it didn't really put anyone out of a job. Right, and then you can have those people who are helping you pay, pay through college. <laughs> can I buy? Can you fund my one salad? Sure. Here's seven grand. Have fun with your college education. Good lord, that was. I you told me about that. I was like, that's actually crazy. Okay, save the game as you do. <laughs> Load, delete. All these auto saves, cause those lag at the computers. Waste space. Waste space, exactly. Well, for now, I'm gonna say thank you guys so much for watching. And if you liked the video, 
be sure to leave a like. It tells me that what I'm doing is appreciated. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, then be sure that you're subscribed. That you're subscribed. Be scribed, right?